hi you guys and welcome back to another vlog if you're new here my name is avery welcome and don't forget to subscribe um i do a lot of like weekend weekly vlogs and hauls over here on youtube um sorry i look like actually terry blay um but i just got back it is friday night i just got back from lifetime and went by whole foods got dinner now i'm about to watch a show um but yeah, I just wanted to start off the vlog here. I thought I'd do a fun little weekend in my life. I feel like these are a lot easier for me lately to do rather than a weekly vlog. Just because I feel like a weekly vlog sometimes gets so choppy for me. Just because I'm not really doing that much, honestly, during the week. Like, I'm going to work and I'm going to the office three days a week. So it's hard for me to film, obviously, when I'm going to the office. And um, I feel like it just ends up getting boring. Like, I literally just come home and go to bed. So anyways, wanted to do a weekend in my life. Um... Yeah, like I said, it's Friday night. I have been loving a Friday night self-care, and I usually always love staying in on a Friday night. Sometimes I like, get in the mode of doing it a lot. Um, sorry, my arm got tired. But, yeah, I just feel like it's really nice. Like, I went to Lifetime, walked on the treadmill for 30 minutes, then did the sauna for 20, went to Whole Foods, got, like, a healthy dinner. Um, and then I can wake up tomorrow morning and have, like, my whole Saturday to myself, and I feel like it's really nice. Um... I mean, I will say that when I do go out or do something on a Friday night, I feel like it makes my weekend feel longer. That's the only thing. So, I don't know. Pros and cons to both. But during the winter, I like a Friday self-care stay at night. So, after I eat dinner and watch my show, I'm going to, like, shower. Maybe do, like, the shower, you know. Um, and then I'm going to, like, blow dry my hair. Maybe do my nails. And get into bed early. It'll be great. So, anyways, yeah. I just wanted to hop on and start off the vlog. It's not focusing. Hello. You guys, my listeners, 15% off of your first purchase with base if you guys go to base shop. Good morning, you guys. So I pretty sure I did a haul on my last video, a Whole Foods haul, but I wanted to show you my new weekend breakfast fixation. It's a seven Sunday cereal. I think they just came out with it. I always struggle with finding like a healthy cereal, but I feel like I want to mix up my breakfast on the weekends rather than like I have oatmeal like every day of the week but this one's really good it tastes like cocoa puffs honestly um it literally has like seven ingredients not even yeah but really good ingredients like not processed at all gluten-free really good you guys should check it out and i can get other flavors too so i might get more. you guys i'm literally just sitting in the bathroom saturday morning trying to decide if i want to go shoot by myself or not and go take my tripod out but i have like seven pictures left that i could still post um that i haven't posted yet obviously it's like a week's worth of content um and i just like i used to be so good at shooting by myself like that's all i would ever do is take my tripod out shoot by myself but i've gotten so used to shooting with other people now and it's so quick and easy to shoot with other people that i'm like i really just don't want to go this morning by myself especially if i can just go like tomorrow or later this week or next weekend with people and just make it be easier um but it's just so weird because i feel like it's ingrained within me to like wake up on the weekend and go shoot because that's literally what i've done every weekend for the past like year and a half or something so it's hard for me to just like sit and chill because i'm literally sitting here i'm like well if i don't go shoot like then what am i gonna do right now because i don't have i'm going to brunch at 2:45. but like other than that i have like nothing planned so yeah that's my little saturday morning film for you guys i think i just need to like actually chill for once so we'll see what i end up doing good morning you guys it is currently monday morning um I know it's been a sec since we last talked. Um, this weekend just kind of ended up being not a great weekend for vlogging, honestly. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is the first weekend and honestly months that I have not done anything for like shooting content or like shooting video content, taking pictures, whatever. It's really nice to just relax. Friday night, I just got Whole Foods. I think I talked to you then went to bed um kind of early watched a movie and then saturday i woke up i can't think of all like what i did now saturday i just woke up i had breakfast i went and got um 
a workout in. I was supposed to go to brunch with a friend, but she ended up canceling, so I didn't go. And I was able to go with my roommate, and we met up with a bunch of Kansas City people at this Chiefs bar in East Village. And we watched Chiefs game there at, like, that was at, like, 4.30. Stayed there until, like, 9.30 or something, and then just came home. And I ex actually broke my GI January, but it was for a good reason. Um, I just, like, needed to have a drink at that point in time. But it was... Um, yeah, no, it was worth it. I'm still back on my dry January, like, routine now, though. I'm gonna try to stick to it, but I think it's just a good lesson, too. Like, I feel like when I do things for wellness, sometimes I can be really extreme one way or the other, and, like, then I don't end up having, like, enjoying, like, going to a bar with my friends or something. Like, I'm just, I'll say no because I'm not drinking, so I just won't go, um, or I'll just, like, stay in and just, like, work out or stay in and go do that, but, like, I just think I need to find a good balance of, like, working out, waking up early on the weekends, but also, like, going out for drinks and stuff like that and just trying to maintain a good balance. Um, so I'm going to work on that this year and just not feeling guilty. Like, I don't want to have to feel guilty for having a drink or for, like, eating a slice of pizza when I'm, like, tipsy or something, you know? So I'm going to work on that this year. But anyways, then Sunday, what did I do? Sunday, I just woke up. I, I went to a hot Pilates class at 11 ran to Whole Foods, and then honestly just chilled the rest of the day, like, kind of cleaned up a little bit, but just hung out, and then me and my friend went, or me and my roommate went to Ocheval, which is a restaurant in Soho that I've been dying to go to for so long, and it's kind of hard to get a reservation, so I finally got one, and we got their famous burger, which I'll insert clips because, um, I'm pretty sure I took videos, but it was actually the best burger I've probably ever had in New York. So if you like burgers and you live in New York, definitely go there. If you're visiting soon, definitely check it out. But definitely, I don't know how many times can I say definitely? Um, make a reservation before them because you might have trouble getting in. Um, but yeah, and then I just woke up this morning. Actually, I have makeup on right now because I had an interview this morning early at like 7 a.m., woke up, did that, then just walked on the treadmill for a little bit till I started my day. Now it's like 11.30. I've been working for a couple hours, but I'm just working from home today. Um, and yeah, so I figured let's just like bring this into like a couple days in my life, a week in my life. Um, and then I'll start up a whole new weekend vlog next weekend when I may be doing some more exciting stuff to vlog. But yeah, so now I'm just working and listening to some vlogs from Danielle Carolyn. I'm kind of hoping this week is chill because last week was just a lot for me honestly with work um I'm also the kind of person that tends to get like pretty stressed out easily if I'm really overwhelmed like if there's a lot going on I don't work great under pressure like I like having time to like get things done and like double check my work and stuff and that's hard to do with my job sometimes it's very high pressure and like just very like high stress like things need to get done at like snap of a finger um, so last week I just felt like really stressed out. Friday was like a really long day for me. So it was nice to just take the weekend off completely. I feel like I really mentally needed the break and like, I can't mentally like compartmentalize sometimes like doing so much for my job and then like immediately going in and doing stuff for my, my blog and stuff after. So I just think I needed a break. Um, so today's been like pretty steady normal so far. So I'm hoping this week will be easy. Um, but yeah, I don't have a ton of plans. Thursday night, I'm going to get drinks with my, um, actually with m and my like exchange student that I had in sixth grade when I went to stay in France for two weeks. I stayed with her and she's in New York for work. So we're going to meet up. Um, might be going on a date this week, TBD. I'm like, I did this to myself over the weekend where I like went back out on the date naps and like message people, talk to people. And now that I have to like deal with the consequences of my actions I don't know that I really want to go on a date anymore so we'll see if that ends up happening Friday night I'm going to a restaurant week dinner reservation with some friends so yeah and then Saturday when I was out of the Chiefs game we won so we're going um to the next round of playoffs or whatever and that game's on Sunday night so I'll be doing that so pretty exciting week but yeah I will just take you guys along for the next couple of days um not much planned. I'm going to a bar class tonight, but yeah. Good morning, you guys. I told you it was going to be a boring Monday, so here I am again. It's Tuesday, and it's just like 7 a.m. No, 7.30. I'm literally so out of breath, but I'm going to meet Jenna to shoot three outfits and then head to the office. I really have so much crap with me. I'm dying, so yeah. 
which I feel like I said earlier in this vlog, like I'm just not good at vlogging during the week because my days are just like so short when I go in the office. I feel like there's not much to talk about, but yesterday I think I talked to you and I shot with Jenna. Literally nothing else happened that day. Went to work, got home, walked on the treadmill, ate dinner, literally went to bed. So that was that, but it is currently 8.10 and we're already running behind on my schedule. Um, but I got home from work tonight and went on another walk. I've really been trying to get a lot of steps in, so I've been going on a walk after work has been nice. But um, yeah, went on a walk, ate dinner, I'm watching Summer House right now, and then I just got a few packages in, so I thought I'd do a quick little unboxing. But then after that, I need to get my life together for tomorrow night because it's gonna be a long day. I'm going to work, going into the office, and then directly after that, I'm getting drinks with, um, my French exchange student actually from the sixth grade. I have not seen her since seventh grade when she came to stay with me. Um, and then I stayed with her. I stayed with her in France in sixth grade for two weeks. And then she stayed with me for two weeks in seventh grade. Um, and we just never really kept, totally kept in touch. So I am excited to see her. I think it'll be really fun. She's here for work. Um, but yeah, have that. And then I'm gonna try to make that as quick as possible because then I'm running home to change to go on a date. Have not been on a date in a hot sack, like definitely a couple months. So I'm like excited, but also I feel like when you get, when you're not like in the hang of going on dates, like I just feel like you get more nervous. Like when I'm going on them regularly, it's not as nerve wracking, but I'm just nervous. So I wanna like pick out my outfit tonight self tan even though like this date's gonna be literally we're just getting like one drink so it's not like it's a big deal but you know you want to look your best so you know self tan shower shower self tan do my hair pick out an outfit so that when i come home tomorrow night after drinks i can just like quickly change an outfit i'm not like stressing about what i'm gonna wear and like second guessing everything so i'll take you along with me tonight on my little like get ready with me for a date we'll yeah do the whole spiel so Anyways, I uh, got a couple random things in, so I thought I'd do a little haul. First up, I think I showed you on here. I got an, I got a pair of mother jeans over Christmas from Nordstrom on sale, and I really, really like them. Um, so I got the same style. The style is called the Hustler. Hustler ankle, and this is in the wash scenic root. Yeah, I got them in a size 27. Um, but my other pair is in a 26 and they fit, but I just kind of wanted the size, the size to be like a little bit more oversized. I will say if you're doing mother denim, definitely size up because their stuff is like skin tight, depending on what kind of style you get. But anyways, I really, really like them. I love the wash. I needed just like a good classic wash like this to wear to work. And yeah, I haven't tried them on yet, but I hope I like them. They are expensive, but I feel like good jeans are worth the investment like I have like 15 pairs of jeans in my closet right now and I wear I've worn like some of them like maybe two or three times like I should get rid of them and stop getting crappy jeans with that being said I also have a little haul from charcoal and they're nice enough to send me some stuff so I have another pair of black jeans from them I have like no black jeans so I thought these are really cute baggy oversized wide leg definitely size up if you're going to shop from charcoal they're an australian brand which i feel like just they always tend to um they always tend to have smaller sizes or have like whatever you always need to size up so i got these in a size 10 that's an australian 10 so i think they're really a size 6 in us and normally i'm a size 4 2 or 4 so there's those then i got this really cute white maxi dress that's like sheer long sleeve it has a really pretty open back i'll try to try on all this stuff for you guys but i don't know if it's gonna happen anytime soon because i'm just not in the right headspace to try stuff on you know you gotta be like ready to try stuff on um but i'm going on a tropical vacation in march so i feel like these pieces were gonna be good for that um then i just got another little knit like tank dress i got this in an extra small small it's long cute for the beach then i got so uh, let's do this little black mini dress super cute has like a little slit strapless it's not the right way no it goes this way strapless then it has this little like knot on the side it's a slit cute then this was supposed to be a set but i guess they were low on stock on the skirt so i wasn't able to get it but i kind of want to go online now and just order it because i feel like 
I don't really have anything to wear the top with, but it's just this cute little black long sleeve twisty tie top. Um, I mean, it's a basic, so I could wear it with other stuff, but the skirt with it was super cute. It's like a long maxi skirt with a high slit up leg. So I really wanted those, that duo together. But yeah, that is it for my little haul. I need to like kick my patoot into action and start getting ready. Even though all I want to do is get in bed, but I will take you guys along with me on how I get ready for a date. Hi guys. So I've basically just been trying on outfits since we last spoke, but I dry brushed, showered, did a hair mask, and I think that's it so far. And I'm gonna self tan, but I wanted to try my outfits first. Um, I think this is what I'm gonna go with, but if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, definitely start following me there because I posted full on outfit trends of everything, but I'm honestly just too lazy to try them all on right now, but I think I'm gonna go with this outfit. This shirt is from Revolve, it's the brand NBD. I really like it. I don't know if the plunge is too much for a first date, but whatever. I'm also wearing these big, baggy storette jeans that i really really love um so i feel like the like bagginess of these and the plunge of this isn't like too too much so yeah i might try most of my charcoal stuff though so stay tuned for that trend haul then we need to tan and do everything else i need to do tonight and it's already like 9 15 and i want to go to bed so see you guys soon okay this dress is actually a very cute very risque with the slit i'm not quite sure if I'm ever going to be able to wear this out, maybe as like a pool cover up, my vacation I'm going on, but yeah, I don't really know. I mean, it's super cute, but not quite sure what underwear situation I'd be doing with this thing. So it's also very, very short and I'm like definitely sized up in this. I think I got a medium, so definitely sized up. Like I said, and charcoal stuff, imagine with cute little like platform heels though. Super cute, and I like, like, if I, like, post my leg out, very cute, but, yeah, I don't know. I would have to, like, I mean, it's so short, like, I would have to, like, literally only take photos in this and then directly take it off, so. Okay, we'll here's see. this cute knit dress I'm covering because it's a little bit see-through. Actually, it might not be, um, but I like it. I mean, it's cute, like, a little swimsuit cover-up. It's not my, like, favorite ever doesn't really do anything like amazing for me so yeah okay so this one is actually very very cute really have to cover myself up because it is very see-through um it doesn't look as flattering in the camera as it is in person i feel like it's super sheer cute open back i think this will be really cute with like a bright swimsuit underneath or something okay we are all self tannered up i like really went full out you can tell my neck oh my god <gasps> Wait, look how bad the lines are. Oops, I might need to fix that. I was trying to do like the contour people do. The trick, you know? I think you like contour your face with, the, with your makeup brush, but I feel like that line does not look good. Anyways, I'm gonna do my little facial razor. This, these are the tinkle razors I love. Normally I would go around maybe like all my face, but I think I'm just gonna do like certain spots since I already tanned some of it. Okay, this is what I do. How do I look? I think it's just this lighting or else am I going crazy anyways this is what it looks like and I literally just drag down like this all over oh yeah that's going to get blended all over my face so we're gonna oh god no, we're gonna do this good morning you guys oh wait you probably can't really hear me let me get this good morning you guys happy Thursday it is 7 a.m um, I just woke up and did a little Pilates workout here, uh, because I smell like self-tanner and I also just didn't want to go to the gym, um, with all this on, but I also didn't want to shower and then work out. So just finished working out, but I just kept my sweats on and put a sports bra on. So now I'm just going to shower and get ready for the day, but I thought it'd be fun to do a little get ready with me, um, for work today. Okay, you guys finished showering off my self-tan, put lotion on. I'm making my lunch right now because I totally forgot to meal prep that last night. Um, and then, yeah, now we're gonna do my makeup and hair. So I thought I would take you along for kind of a new makeup routine to get my beauty blender wet. Um, I don't think I showed on here, but I got a bunch of new products in from Sephora. Um, and I'm really liking them. So I thought I could Try them on with you guys. Um, okay, first up, we're gonna do skincare though. 
And I think I'm just going to do this Orgade Vitamin C Serum. I've had this for a while. I ran out of my favorite vitamin C serum and I'm just being like way too lazy at replacing it. But it's fine. Oh, I'm like feeling really anxious this morning. I don't know why. Um, actually, I do know why. I just weighed myself and I like try to stay away from scales, but wanted to weigh myself because I feel like I've been doing really good the past couple of weeks working out, eating healthy. I wasn't drinking for a little bit and felt like I was just feeling really healthy, but it's just a good reminder that the scale doesn't always like translate into how you're feeling because um, I like didn't lose any weight or anything, which isn't always the goal. But right now for me, that is kind of a little bit my goal because um, it's been hard with my PCOS just in the past couple months. I got my blood work done and have um, insulin resistance. So I feel like that's not really helping my body feel its best and stuff. So I've been trying to just like focus more on wellness, go to like the sauna, like I've been saying, do workouts I like, but do like low impact workouts because that's what my dietitian said would be like the best for my body right now. Um, I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job about, at it, but also like I got to give myself a break. It's only been a couple of weeks. Um, so I feel like I haven't like, I don't know, sometimes I feel like you have to be doing things for obviously longer to like see the final result. So I don't know. I also just need to like not stress about it. But recently I've just been stressing out a lot about it because I just like don't feel good in my body right now, which is a sucky feeling. But I just wanted to share and be like open on here because I feel like I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. And it's just like not a fun feeling. Um, so yeah, just trying to do little things to help me feel my best without like taking it to the extreme because I don't want to like over restrict myself either and I feel like I definitely would have done that in the past um so I'm trying not to like focus on like how many calories I'm eating or going on any like no gluten no dairy diet whatever um yeah so just wanted to open up a little bit about that and be like kind of vulnerable with you guys so if any of you are feeling the same way, no, you're not alone. Okay, back to the makeup routine though. Um, I just got these deep bronzy drops and I really, really like them. They're from Drunk Elephant. You just mix them in with like a bronzer or um, like a serum and they just give you like a nice bronzed glow. And they're also like, they help with like, I don't even know, like anti-pollution. They're like just supposed to also be like good skincare. It's not just like for tan um which we love although i did tan my face last night so hopefully it's looking tanner um okay then we're gonna go in with makeup usually for work i've just been doing concealer oh you know what i'm making my lunch I gotta go check. okay checked my lunch um yeah normally i would just do concealer but i am going what did i say like that i'm going to um happy hour with my french exchange student from sixth grade super fun haven't seen her since seventh grade i said that last night and then going on a hinge date which i also said last night so i feel like i should do more of a base i don't want to do like full-on foundation really um because i feel like everyone at my work is gonna be like who are you you never look like this i am gonna do my favorite skin tint though if i can find it I don't know where it is. I cannot find it. So we're just going to actually do a foundation, but I'm just going to go in really light. So this is the Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation from Giorgio Armani. I'm in the shade 6.5. I like this because it is like super buildable and light and you don't really feel like you're actually wearing foundation. So um, it won't feel like gross all day. Sometimes when I wear like full on makeup, I feel like dirty. I don't know why, but I mean, I feel the same way. Like the shade actually like perfectly matches my skin tone right now. It's amazing. Good to know in the future. Okay. There's that. Now we're gonna go in with my new concealer I got from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade 180W, and I really, really like this concealer actually. I didn't think I would, but it's a little light, but um 
it does not crease at all which i have such problems with concealer creasing and this like really doesn't and it's just amazing um it might be a little bit too light for my skin tone right now but it's fine we need a bright under eye because i'm kind of tired which like why can't i literally find oh my god it's on my skin tone well there's that why can't i find anything today like this is how you know i'm freaking stressed this always happens to me like i lose everything when i'm stressed out and i can never find it and i get more anxious and it's just kind of a good cycle you know okay wait no okay found it this was the thing i was most excited for it's the rare beauty it's just like an under eye brightener i can't remember the exact name but it's in the shade medium I really really like this one you can wear it over concealer it's just like a brightener or you can wear it um like as a concealer like without anything underneath which is what i did yesterday for work and it's really light and nice um and yeah i feel like it really does like brighten the under eye and this has really been my favorite duo lately Okay, that's done -zo. Now we're gonna go in with bronzer, which I can find my brush. This is literally just gonna be a vlog of me trying to find things. Okay, got a new bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty one in the shade Private Island. It's the Sunstalker um, bronzer. I really like it. I thought it was gonna be cream, but it's actually powder, but um, I'm actually like, pretty impressed. Um, Normally, I don't stray from my hula bronzer, but I really like this one. So I'm just gonna bronze the cheeks. I want to look extra tan tonight. You guys ever wonder like why you do so much prep though for a first date? Maybe it's just me doing this insane amount of prep. Not that I'm doing an insane amount of prep, but just like tanning and stuff and wanting to like pick out an outfit and like have better makeup on but like it's literally just a first date and it's from hinge like i mean it probably is gonna go absolutely nowhere but i still feel the need to like look extra cute let me know if you're the same way okay that was probably too much bronzer now we're gonna do blush which I got two different shades from Rare Beauty. This is their liquid blush, and I got it in the shade Joy and the shade Happy. Happy's more of like a pink, Joy's more of a coral, which I thought would be really cute for summer. I've been using this one though. Um, but you know what, since I'm tan, let's, let's go into the corally one. And it is a lot of product, so I kind of was doing one, I think. One little dot. And then I'm gonna use my little blush brush, or you can use a beauty blender. And just... like, see how pretty that is? It'll blend, don't worry. Oh my gosh, I just feel like that looks so pretty. I really, really like it. Might be one of my favorite cream liquid blushes. I also really love the Tower 28 one, and I think it's the shade Magic Hour. Okay, then we're just gonna be a little on the nose to look sun kissed. Okay, then we're gonna do highlighter. Oh, and this is a new highlighter too from Rare Beauty. Um, this is in the shade Enchant, which I've been trying to find for so long, but it's sold out. Um, so I got it, I did like a pickup in store or whatever. That's how I was able to get it, but it's really nice too. I love a liquid highlighter though. Like I can't remember the last time I honestly used a um, powder highlighter. I just feel like it like shows up better. 
And then sometimes I also like to take it above the eyebrow. Okay, then we're gonna do just a little bit of bronzer on the eyes. I really wanna get back into doing more eyeshadow, not for like work or anything, but like when I'm going out or something, I used to be so good like in college about doing like this really like intricate, not even intricate, but I just put eyeshadow on. And now literally all I ever do is just like use my bronzer as my eyeshadow. I don't even think I have a legit eyeshadow palette anymore. Actually, I have a mini Fenty Beauty one, but it has like four colors. I used to have like these giant eyeshadow palettes that I would do. That's done. Now we're gonna go in and do eyebrows. I'm just using clear eyebrow gel from NYX. I actually really need a new one. That's like five bucks and I think it's really good. I have a theory that all eyebrow gels are the same though. Although I have been wanting to try the Benefit one because everyone says that's really nice. Um, Do we fill in the brows? You don't know, that seems like a lot of work. Maybe I'll show a little filling. Because why not? If I can even like find my freaking eyebrow. And are honestly maybe I'll fill them in just like before I go on my date. Actually we found it. I'm just filling wherever they're blank. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not picky about my eyebrow pencils either. I like the L'Oreal one. This one is from, um, I got this one sent to me. It's from Winky Lux. But even just like a little filling looks so much better. Okay. I swear everyone in my work is gonna be like, who is this person? We don't recognize her because she looks like crap And all the other days. Like I actually cannot remember the, first, the last time I wore full on foundation to work. Now you're going to just do mascara and lip gloss, but I'm not gonna shoot mascara because I, I hate doing that. Hey guys, mascara is on. Now I'm just going to get this new gloss I got from Fenty Beauty in the shade Fussy. Uh, I really, really like it. I've been wanting it for forever. I don't know why I'd never just bit, bit the bowl and got it, but it is really good for a gloss. So yeah, that is the final look. Hey you guys, it is Thursday night. I'm obviously back in bed. It has been the longest day, literally, like, of my life, I feel like. Um, yeah, got back from work, and, or I went to work, went straight to getting drinks with my exchange student from my seventh grade, which was so much fun, by the way. Like, I love her. It was just so much fun. Um, she comes back in April, actually, with her family, so I think I'm gonna meet up with her then, but I have the best time with her, and I'm honestly, like, sad. We only got to hang out for, like, an hour, um, but it was so much fun catching up with her. She's such a cool person. Um, we just went to the flower shop in Lower East Side. We tried going to Attaboy, but there's already a line out the door, so that wasn't happening. Then I came back here really quick, literally ate, like, a piece of toast for dinner and went on my date, which was really nice. Um, we just got drinks, um... 
at like a hotel bar near me, but it was good. He was a really nice guy. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, she had the biggest deal in my life. Anyways, yeah, it was good. He's a really nice guy. I don't know. I mean, it's, like, hard to tell after a first date, but um, it was fun. I feel like it was just, like, the idea of going on a date for me because I hadn't been on one in so long that I was, like, I want to get back out there and go on dates again. So I'm glad I did that, and now I feel like I feel like just doing your first one is, like, biting the bull and getting it over with. So now I'll go on more, but... um he was like a very sweet person so that's always a good thing and I feel like dates honestly like you dread going on them but the minute you go on it and it's over with you're like wow okay that like was not that bad and like yes there are horror stories of there being bad dates out there but like I truly have never been on that bad of a date before and also if it's that bad like you just get up and leave like you finish your drink and you go you know like it's it's not like you're stuck with them for hours on end so there's always a way out of a situation if it truly is that bad but I've never even been on that bad of a date before so I don't know that's just my experience and I feel like there's something like empowering about going on a date honestly like I feel like so like I'm like okay wow like I can do that I can talk to a random person that I've never met before for like a couple hours and it's fine you know like I don't know. I just feel like there's something, like, that, like, kind of motivates you about it. So, that's my spiel. But I think I'm going to end off the vlog here. I know this one was a choppy one, so I'm sorry again. But, um, I will try to do a weekend in my life this weekend, I think. So, stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.